The product we're going to be reviewing today is a power built torque tube integrated with a Gorbel Q series G Force, which is a servo uh, driven intelligent lifter uh, developed by Gorbel. In addition to the Gorbel uh, G Force, we have the remote sensing hub. What's unique about the remote sensing hub is you have no push buttons for up down, it's simply operator input um, driven off of the cells within. Uh, this hub and module here so literally uh, with a finger you can raise and lower this system it's sensing the amount of force that I'm putting on it so a very unique um, solution that Gorbel's come up with for that uh, and was perfect for our application in addition uh, a couple features that we integrated with the g-force is a parts presence sensor here what this does is when it's not engaged, similar to the inline sliding handle that Gorbel has, but when it's not engaged, your rotational brakes are on. The system cannot move on, on the rail system. So if the operator needed to stop, they can do that and it locks out in place. So if an operator does come over, engages, what you just heard there was a pneumatic brake system on the carriage. Now I'm able to rotate uh, on that axle. So I still have my up down control uh, just as if you were going over and picking this part up by your hands, but uh, essentially it's assisting uh, with the force to do that. Something else that you noticed when we turn that uh, rotational brake off is this light engaged, and it's pointed directly at our pick points and our end tooling, reason being it's in a very poor lit area, uh, and this is going to assist the operators in their process. So essentially what the, the process is, is picking from one power and free conveyor, a rack of parts that come out of powder coat, lifting it off of that conveyor, and then rotating it to a conveyor behind them. Now what you notice is, I can still sit here and with one finger go up and down. And that's with over 100 pounds of force on there. So again, all that this is doing is sensing the force that I'm inputting. Different than if you were with other G-forces, float mode, which some people may be familiar with, where you can actually grab the part and go up and down. Can't do that with a remote sensing hub. That's a safety feature that they have. You have to be engaged uh, underneath the remote sensing hub. So again, back engaged, brake dislodged, light is on, and we're active again. Something else that you noticed on that, the pickup as well, is how we designed this end tool. It looks fairly simple, but there's a lot of thought that goes into that. It's a, essentially a rough guide, so when that operator comes over and gets that rack back in the uh, V shape here, it's in the perfect position to go vertical and be captured by these fingers. Um, and that was shimmable and uh, tested out for our customer just to make sure that their operators can meet their cycle time uh, without having any downtime. So appreciate you guys watching today. Thank you.